Hey everyone, so today was my second appointment with the Stem Cell Institute. And if you remember yesterday, I had a hip injection and they initially told me it was gonna hurt and it didn't really hurt when they injected it. I would say the pain was like a one on a 10 scale. Later that evening, I would say it started to hurt a little bit, maybe like a three, but it was never really that bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. So not really much of a complication or much pain there. Uh, this morning when I got up, the pain was reduced to probably about a 1. I still didn't take it hard. I pretty much stayed in bed all day, and uh, it wasn't really much of an issue. So today was my second appointment, and in today's appointment, uh, I was going to do the rest of my local injections as well as my first installment of the IV. Now for the local injections, I was getting 1 into my knee, 2 into my back, and 2 into my shoulder. So these were pretty straightforward. Uh, the back and the shoulder was no problem, uh, but there seemed to be a little bit of a misunderstanding when it came to the knee injection. I explained I wanted it in a particular spot due to the injury that I had, and that was seemed to be misunderstood. They were gonna do it on top of my kneecap, just in the skin area, and I don't see how that would do anything. I wanted it in a particular spot, but definitely under my knee. Now, as it turns out, they need a special doctor there to do this type of injection. And he was not in the office today. So that created a problem because once you take the stem cells out, you cannot put them back. So they were originally flying the idea that, okay, we're going to have to use this extra vial that we have on another spot. And then you're going to have to buy more stem cells at a later date when the doctor's there. Now, I've already spent a lot of money. I didn't want to buy another vial of stem cells because they didn't really understand what I wanted, especially since where they were doing it on top of my kneecap didn't really have a lot of benefit. I don't know how that could help anybody. So I didn't really like that idea. They called in the office manager and he was quick to respond. He just went ahead and called the doctor that's supposed to do this type of injection, asked him if he could come down and he did and we got it done. So. Uh, I really liked how they handled the situation. Once we knew it was a problem, uh, they handled it swiftly and they got me what I needed without charging me extra. So kudos to them for that. Now all in all, today's procedure took about an hour. I think I was there for about an hour and 10 minutes total. So uh, not too bad. A lot of that was waiting for the doctor to come down, which I think added like an extra 10 minutes to the procedure. And then in addition to that, if you remember correctly, on my first appointment, they had my contract wrong. Even though we discussed the procedures I was going to have, they didn't have it in the contract correctly. I emailed them that it was wrong. And then when I got there, they presented me with the same contract over again. So I had to tell them at another time that this is not the right contract or the procedures we talked about. So they put together a new contract with the right procedures and I was able to go ahead and sign that. So we went ahead and took care of that as well. So all in all, it was a pretty good day. I'm glad I got the procedures done and tomorrow I have another IV and then Friday I have another IV and then I'll complete my treatment and I'll report back to you on how that goes.